What is up everyone? So today is the day I finally drive my S my yellow S15. The VVL S15. You guys saw it's been a, a wild journey of emotions with this thing, but we got it off the dyno yesterday. It's making good power. 450 on pump gas. There's definitely more room for power there. I kind of want to turn up to 500. I think you can happily hold 500, but for now I'm going to take this one victory and ride with it. Right? Dude, I'm just excited to hear it. I, didn't, I wasn't here yesterday. Oh, you haven't heard it? Yeah. Oh, well, I've heard it like free revving, but not under a load. Oh yeah, she hits. It's pretty quiet actually. Yeah? It's nice, I like it. It didn't, the, the two-step didn't sound quiet. Yeah, that's two-step. But uh, here's the thing, right? It's had no interior since we got it. Well, it had half the interior. And well, this morning, we went through, cleaned everything up, and we put most of it in. So, it actually feels like a whole ass car and not just like this project shell that's been sitting for a while. The door cards are super clean. Everything, the interior on this thing is beautiful, right? The last piece of the puzzle is the center console and then seats. I don't actually own seats for this car, so. Donnie is lending me his Zanke seats, which kind of feels wrong, but it might actually be kind of cool. I Trade said off. he can hold down the confetti. You don't want yeah, to but if I put them. the confetti in, I'm never going to want to take them out. So don't you find another set. It'll make you get a set. It'll make me, yeah, but then I got to spend three grand on seats that are 25 years old. Yeah. Yeah, that's the sad truth. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> sucks a lot. Whatever. Okay, this thing's on, dude, like this thing is, first test drive today. I'm going to shut up, but let's get the center console in and finalize the tier so it feels Hole. So what's sick about the S15 is since they're way newer than other S chassis, they actually still produce a lot of parts for it, which is pretty cool. One thing they still produce is the center consoles. Brand new in the bag. How cool is that? Yeah, I love that. Yeah, they might, <laughs> I mean, okay, they might've discontinued them, I don't know. They discontinue like parts for these I feel like a lot of people never see like a brand new OEM part. Mm. And I like, I, maybe I take that for granted because I see so many of them. Yeah. Like, it, it, it always feels so good taking a fresh OEM part out of the package. Ooh. Oh my God. Ooh. Fresh screws. Peep the part number. Oh yeah. Are you ready? It's like it's new. All right, you ready? Boom. It looks too nice, you know what I mean? Because this paint usually always fades and gets scratched. Okay, more pieces of the puzzle, you ready? Then we got the brand new radio shifter surround. Bezel. Bezel. Dude, I'll, I'll tell you what, the dash like looks perfect, so to have this and that, just, oh. All right, then we have a brand new Spec R shifter, which is cool because it has like the six speed. Right? Mm -hmm. and so even though it's CD, it's still the same, which is cool. All right. Yeah, I love that. This was actually for the pewter car. Uh -huh. That lives on. Oh, that's dope. The shifter is not OE. We're gonna have to get a better shift knob because that looks really funny. That does look, well, it looks all right from there, but from this angle, we need something with some- A little more girth to it. A little more girth, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have an OE. Spec R shift knob. Oh yeah, no. It looks very OEM. The boot probably sit right up in there. Look at that. Wow. Oh. That's, that's pretty cool because it looks 100% OEM even though yeah. we have like a whole aftermarket shifter on it. No, that's, I would never change that ever. That looks perfect. Yeah, that's pretty cool. She's gone tier. How crazy is that? Need some seats? Are you going to take this thing for a drive today? That's what I'm doing right now. Oh, the cream of the crop here. The creme de la creme as Donald says. <laughs> Hey, I cannot complain because you just let me hold these down while I find seats. Watch the paint. I'm putting them in. They don't look that bad in there. No, it gets the OEM flow. It'll right. work for now. It'll work for now. I should have taken the nicer ones out of my Zanky before Tommy took it. Shit, I got it good. Huh? Shit, I'm fucked. There we go. Like, look at this one. It's in good shape. It looks kind of sick. Because S15 seats are like really thick and they feel too big for the car. These are tiny. They feel perfect. And they're comfortable. Uh, S14 seats and an S15, the cheat code. S I swear to God, S15 seats are two plus. You like, this is it. You fit. I need, I need to find some like, some good condition. Like, look in the pattern's cool. Look at that. Problem solved. S14 seats, who would've thought? All right, you ready? Are you ready? First real test drive. The alignment in the front's pretty whack. Mm -hmm. so. Holy shit. Yeah. 
I just want to like cruise and enjoy it. Is the yellow hitting outside right now? This is the victory lap. Damn. Good outside. Sounds good. It looks good. Who did that exhaust? Some guy. Sounds That's so good. The McNasty, Steve. The McNasty, right? The McDouble. <laughs> it is like a McDonald's colorway, right? The McNasty red. S15. Oh okay. You don't realize how rocky this parking lot is until you drive a fresh car through it. You hear every damn rock. Man. Oh. The McNasty. I've never been like this nervous doing like, like a test drive and ever. Literally ever. Jesus Christ, I'm like way too anxious. How's it feel? It's good, it, you could, it's a power steering pump, you could tell it's dying, we mm. heard it. I was hoping it would kind of clear itself out, but Didn't. nah, it's getting crunchy. What's wrong? They all make me look nervous. Yeah, making me nervous. Right? What's wrong? Oh, your power steering belt? Oh man. Literally flipped upside down. It's like oh. what that. What is it, this way? Speaking of power steering. Who put the belt on? Uh, Jimmy. Jimmy. It's loose. Put it on like that. And it's loose. That's probably why. You left it loose. I didn't do shit. This thing is spinning to 8,500 RPMs. Shit happens after seven, all right? All right? That happens. Oh, that happens. Jesus Christ, it's so yellow. Oh my God. This yellow takes the sun a lot better than the FD. Yeah. The FD yes. is so like neon that when, it, when the sun hits it, it almost looks like pale. pale. Yo. This absorbs. Let's put the bumper on. Let's put the hood on and wash it. Yeah, the bumper and hood. Yeah, I just wanted to do one lap. I wanted to take it in, but yeah, let's get the hood on, let's get the bumper on, give this thing a proper wash, it's filthy, and just like bask in the beautifulness for the first time. And it looks so freaking cool. Look at this. Look at the engine bay shining outside. I do this every time. I take a car outside for the first time. I'm like, oh my God, this is so crazy. Like, I, I haven't done this. This what? is a big deal. This I'll never get sick of this stuff. This is a big deal. <laughs> Dude. Oh, it's so cool. Look at this. Look at the power steering, but how the hell did that happen? I've have never, never seen, seen anything in my life like that. That's yes. crazy. Fix that. Breathe yeah, in through your nose, out through your mouth. You know? <laughs> what a nice day it is in New England today. Oh, I can't see the bushes. <laughs> She's scooting. She's scooting and tooting. Hood, which I'm so happy to put on because it's been nervously sitting in the back for a very long time. And uh, let's get the air bumper on and complete the form. Dirty mustard tiger. We're not calling it a mustard tiger, Steve. Why not? I cut the line in mustard tiger. The mustard tiger Yo, McNasty S15. McNasty's better. McNasty? Who called it McNasty? Yeah, it is like McDonald's, like. McNasty, okay, I get it. Big mustard. Oh, over here with spoon. Dry ice tactics. The trick with this is, is just being patient. Let it sit. I think I put this on maybe an hour ago. Oh, that's a good piece right there, buddy. Got that. Oh. Yeah, that's it's good. Gonna crazy. This is gonna be yeah. good. McNasty. Oh, we have bumper here, baby. Sheesh, look at that thing. Damn, that looks good right there. Dude, I always, oh my god, dude, look at it. It looks so, it's crazy what putting that bumper on does. This thing looks fucking nuts. It looks like, Jesus Christ. I know it's just like, it, okay, it's, at the end of the day, it's just, I mean, stock arrow, mm -hmm. right? Just a ni nice paint job and a cool ass on. But it looks like a damn, mag I don't know, it looks like a magazine car to me. Looks like T-Bone. T-Bone. <laughs> What's T-Bone? Great. Is that the new phrasing? Right. That's what it is. He dropped the bar real yeah, quick. It. I like that, that shit, though. That shit T-Bone. That means it's sick. It's McNasty. That's right. T-Bone right there. Let's see that engine bed. It looks sick. With the hood open. It looks like this thing is at Tokyo Auto Salon 2017. Holy shit. Okay, I want to see the fog lights actually work. That'd be so, so sick if they work. Yeah. yeah. No way. 
like, oh, nope. That's so hard. <laughs> I know, he's like, nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, Look how good. sick that looks. Okay, we're missing one of them. We got a wire not plugged in, Timo. Oh, Steve, that is the coolest fucking thing I have ever seen in my life. Yeah, stoked. There you go. Ah, oh, I have chills. This is fucking so dope. Oh, that's so cool. Spoon, come over here. Look how fucking cool this looks. I got obviously the bumper is gonna bolt on, but Spoon, man, I keep. Okay, look, look at, see how cool does that look with the fogs? Jeez, walking in and seeing that, I'm like, oh, I got <laughs> fucking chills, <Steve. laughs> The bumper's hanging off, but no, no, put it back on, put it back on. Now we're gonna wait. It hits different, huh? Oh, I said it, and I'll say it again. S15 over FD over Supra. All of those? Look at it. It does look I don't hate that. damn good. You oh. don't hate that. Especially the guy who yellow. owns three. <laughs> I don't hate that. <laughs> look at this thing, bro. Especially in yellow. Uh, I want to like go in the fetal position and cry at like, what the fuck? What the? This is the, look how hard this thing is, bro. Yeah, the wheels are cooler now, the bumper's on it, so weird. <laughs> With the Neo VVL sticking out the top. Oh my god. Remember, the, remember how there was the Mona Lisa 15 in Tokyo Drift? Yeah. This is the, uh, this, this is the Mona Lisa. Yeah. This is the Mona Lisa. Basquiat. <laughs> I just got too excited. I know you got too excited, but I... He said, I'm gonna finish the job. <laughs> <laughs> incredible and the car is absolutely filthy yellow hides it very well but it is disgustingly dirty holy crap like you could can't even tell on camera that's great so i'm gonna just let this sink in for a little while because it is it looks like a magazine car it looks like a magazine car it's ridiculous it's like the poster you have in your room when you're younger i'm gonna shut up for now we're actually gonna go and film a podcast with spoon so if you guys want to check it out uh, hop below patreon is in the description and uh go from there but for now i'll see you guys tomorrow the next day all right so yesterday you guys heard me ramble on a million times about how awesome i think this car looks and i mean it looks beautiful and i cannot wait to do more to it but for now we have to talk about something else something that i kept kind of putting off all week because i didn't want to stir up any more negative energy i wanted to get the victory of my vvl and let that ride but the coupe she had a really rough weekend all right, so this weekend at Staggered Auto Show, we had a drift demo, right? A bunch of friends, we were driving, having a blast, and things got a little rowdy. Uh, we had a multi-car tandem pileup, which usually leads to no good. Uh, as you could tell, I was hit pretty freaking hard in this vicinity. And uh, unfortunately, we are now past the point of banging it with a hammer, giving Brian a cheeseburger and painting it. Uh, we have to cut the front end off and tube it. It hurts because unfortunately the tower did move right here. So it was pretty, pretty hard. If this didn't move, it wouldn't have been much of a big deal. We just lop it and tube it. But we're gonna have to actually cut all this off, pull this thing on the frame machine, get everything straight again and weld some bars to it. So I didn't want to tube this car. I feel like once you tube it, you kind of lose the street car feel of it, but I don't care. I love drifting this car so much and I want to continue to drift it and drift accidents happen, right? I'm the king getting driven into, and it's probably gonna continue happening my whole life. So we gotta prepare for it. So we're gonna cut this thing off, tube it, make it stronger, 
make it easy, better to crash, as they say, and uh, go from there. But for now, uh, let's just take off all the panels around it and uh, see how bent this thing actually is. <laughs> On camera, it honestly doesn't look that bad. Like looking through the lens, I'm like, oh, you can't, you can't really notice, but it's bad. Unfortunately, I got hit twice. Once in the beginning of the day, I got clocked right here. So this stuff is kind of smushed. And then we pulled it out so I could drive. And then we got hit super hard here. Unfortunately, it was, uh, I feel like I'm just rambling on, but I just, I just want to get this out. Um, but we were in a five car train. Uh, unfortunately, we all spun. We spun gracefully together, but the fifth car was playing catch up. And so it, he dived that corner and didn't realize that we were spinning until it was too late and he was cooking. And unfortunately, I just got plowed and it's part of it, you know, like, of course I'm sad, it sucks. It's gonna be a lot of work and, and a lot and expensive, but it comes to the territory. Every time you go out on track with people, you're risking this, right? So it's really hard to tell on camera and I wish I had a tram gauge or something, but it is really far over. I don't know how much my actual rails bent, but this tower did move. I know this tower didn't move, but the whole thing is over. And I just measured this right here from here to here. I went off my hatch, right? Cause that car's straight and it's about an inch in. It might not look it on camera, but this tower, it's, a, it's an inch in. Believe the man. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's crazy. I mean, you, you can look at my strut bar. Look at my strut bar. Look how bowed up it is. Look at all this. What? How close it is to the booster. It's literally touching the master cylinder. Yeah, the master. master. It's crazy, but on camera, it doesn't look that bad. But it's okay, right? So this is what we're going to do. It still runs drives great. Well, it doesn't drive that great. The alignment's all fucked up, but it runs great. So we're going to glop the front off, pull the tower back, weld new pipes to it, make everything fit. Everything's great. Back out there, have fun. It's pretty. This is drifting. RIP engine bay. It was a very, very pretty engine bay. So B, you know, this car started its life as a street car, and it got slowly molded into a drift car. And as the life of it goes on, it turns more and more into a drift car and it gets better at it, becomes a better machine, becomes easier to work on. And it's good. It's the trials and tribulations of owning and progressing in a drift car. Right? That's right. And so this will, this will take a little while and I still got to find some parts. And that's why we're so hasty to try and get the E36 together. So I have some time to drive this season. Maybe the cherry hatch. I don't want to drive the cherry hatch, that poor thing. I know, but the Cherry Hatch isn't the, it's a fun car to drive, but it's not at the level where I want to be driving right now. And worst case, if a grassroots event pops up and the E36 isn't done, I'll just drive the Z. It's easy. Yeah, that Z thing's works. indestructible. No. If this thing got, if there was a Z that got hit, the headlight might have got a scratch in it. S chassis? Different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this poor thing. I don't even know what else to say about it. So that first accident of the day actually finally took out that brick. That thing has been around for a long time. It has been around for a very long time. I kept hitting this one. Mm. This side is cursed. Cursed. That thing finally got hit, RIP. But whatever, everything's great. Everyone's gonna tell me to stop drifting this car, make it the perfect street car, cause you know, and like retire it. But I, I love driving this car way too much. I can't do that. It's stick it around. It's way too past that anyways. It's, it wasn't past it. it, it now it is. Now it is, now it's past it. We were at the point of, we were, we were at the point of return for a while. Full arrow. Full arrow. It, 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 before we did fresh arrow, fitment a little bit better. Great street car. Mm. Well, now the universe told me it's full drift car, baby. Get after it. All right, I said enough. We'll talk more about it later. I probably forgot some other things, but it's great. It's not bad. It's part of life. So S15's hitting. F S15 looks absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna ride this one for a while because I don't know. I'm proud of me. It's sick. So for now, we're gonna end it. We'll see you guys in the next one. You know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And T-Bone, have a good night.